Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Terranigma. In the last episode, we went up the lab tower, and we managed to make our way onto this airship. And we need to go into the airship if we need to do anything. And there's Fida and Roy. Ark, this is a machine called Computer. You mean a computer? Put simply, it's the brain of the ship. There are seven brains on the ship. One or two brains out isn't a problem. But if all seven were knocked out, this ship would have to go down. Ark, here are some time bombs. I attach one on every computer. Okay, let's split up and search. Good luck. And we have obtained the time bombs, which we will use in this area, in this area only. Leaping onto an airship, lifting off, takes some guts. That kind of risk-taking is great. I like your style. We're coming up to the grand finale. And as Fida and Royd run, we're going to equip the time bombs. And you, when you go up to a computer like this one, you press X. So this is a computer. Ark set a time bomb. And you can tell by the noise and the sparkle there that you did place the time bomb on the computer. Now you want to be careful as you go outside to the west after that because the church will fire at you. And from here, hmm, where do I wish to go? Well, south will just lead to a dead end, I believe. Although that could give me something that I could use, maybe? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And Nope, it's just a dead end. Oh, well, I get more experience from doing this anyway. No big deal. But you do want to be careful with these guys. Because they do fire at you. They do fire these little rockets at you. And they can do quite a bit of damage. And that is an exit. Where does that lead? It leads over there. We need to make our way over to the north a little bit. Because we go further to the south from here, we will be at the end and we don't necessarily want to be there yet. And by going in here, there's a room that we can enter. There are two computers here. Let's go ahead and place the time bombs on these. So that'll give us four to go. We thought we cornered Baruga, but he escaped at the last instant. It doesn't matter. When he set these things, he's done. He destroyed all escape pods and rocket belts except for ours. Baruga should have no way out. Ark, when you finish setting the bombs, come to the ship's rear. And from here, we do want to go into this area here, if we want to face some enemies. Huh, I was expecting those things to explode, but apparently that is not the case. And apparently these guys will still fire at us even though they're nowhere near us. I'm pretty sure that south leads to nothing. We don't have to worry about any magic rocks here because we've got them all. But we can get a nice look at the ship here. And it doesn't really look like we can do anything to the south. Not really. Which means I'm just going to be bringing back enemies for nothing. Oh well. If I can get another level here, that's great. If not, oh well. But I do want to leave this room and I want to go further north. Reason being, there are some areas that we can enter. And two more computers that I can destroy. If you know what you're doing, and especially if you have a map, will you run on? You can make 
quick work of this place. And level 31. I had a feeling I would get another level. Life up 14, strength up 3, defense up 3, luck up 3. And I... Let me see if I can do this from the center door here. I am going to use the wind pin. Oh, you can carry more than one wind pin. Well, that's nice. What does this do? That's a healing spell from Rotri. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the walk the grass pin. I don't know why I thought it was the water pin, but I am going to go ahead and use the grass pin. And I can fully heal myself with that. Never really had a reason to use one because, well, I kind of had a good idea of what I was doing the whole game. By going in here, we have two more computers as well as a security system that we can just take out with one blow. So that's five down, two to go. And we need start taking the side path here because how else are we going to find more of the computers? As well as gems that I don't need from enemies that I don't necessarily have to fight, but I might as well fight them anyway to get them out of my way. And taking either of these paths will take you to places. Where does this take us? Ah, this takes us upwards. Now, both of them will eventually take you to this hallway, regardless of which path you took from those two computers. I believe this leads just to a dead end. Yes, that takes you to a balcony on the ship there. There's another computer there. And that is now six down. So let's go ahead and go over here. Because if we go to the right, we're just going to go to another balcony. This place is very linear and very symmetrical. And we are now going to go that way. Now, we need to find a way to get to another area. Thankfully, there is a way to get there. What we need to do is go back south. And we need to take the west path after this guy because we go to the west there it's just going to take us back into a circle I believe that'll take us just about all the way back to the beginning so now that we're in here Let's take care of the guys because we can. And let's see here. If we go down south and to the east, that will take us to yet another balcony. So you want to take this path. Once again, run so the turrets don't hit you. There's Roid. Ark. Set a bomb here too. Say Ark. And this is all over. What do you plan to do first? I don't know yet. All this constant fighting. Just surviving day to day is enough. Let's see. Not much left to go now. Keep it together. And this is the last time bomb. And if we go any further to the east, we are just going to go into yet another balcony area. Which we don't need to do. There's nothing over there for us. So... We now need to go back where we came, go ahead and take care of this guy, and we need to make our way over to the south there, and we need to make our way well, what we need to do is, okay, we can just do this. From here, we can just go straight south. There we go. We can just go straight south. 
And if you set all the bombs, Fata and Roy will show up. Or, did you set all your bombs? A-okay. Alright, I'm flipping the switch. And as soon as we do that, we're gonna be causing a lot of explosions. Okay. All we have to do now is escape. <laughs> foolish. Too foolish. That was Baruga. It's from the rear deck. Let's follow him over there. For the likes of you, I must admit you have done remarkably well. But I wish you wouldn't forget I am a scientist. You appear to believe my escape routes have been cut off. You are trapped by conventions. Take my shoes, for example. They have jet nozzles on the soles to keep me airborne. Conventional thought can't make inventions or cause progress. Before I bid you farewell forever, let me tell you something amusing. Your soul and rocket belts? They are controlled by computer. Now that the airship's computers are dead, I think they won't work. So it was you who ends up cornered. Very soon now, me and my liege's world will dawn. A world of ethereal life is about to be born. And all of a sudden, a rotor starts rotating behind Baruga. Wh what? Apparently, it's tipping over. Ugh, Dark Gaia, save me! And he dies just like that guy in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Ironically, by his own inventions. So Baruga gets killed by a machine he made. The greatest genius in history ends like that, such as life. The ship will soon lose its balance and begin its descent. Ark, looks like I brought you on a death trip. No, maybe not. Look, a gull! Maybe they've come to meet us! No, can't be that simple. We're flying at an altitude of around 10,000 meters. It must be torture for them to fly at this height. Seeing as this one's alone, maybe the other gulls couldn't make it? Ark, you get on the gull. There's no need to endanger all three of us. Royd is right, and we'll do what we can here. People have been known to survive airplane crashes. Humans are made resilient. Oh, you're just banking on just surviving because other people have done it. Yeah, that's pretty logical. And from here, Royd and Fida block the entrance so you can't get back in. Now hurry, go. The airship is starting to drop. Ark. We will see you again. And if you talk to the goal, you want to select the first option. And there you go. Meanwhile, at Ayers Rock. What? This guy we got one of the Star Stones from. notices Dr. Baruga's airship fall. The light of the apocalypse. The world's final day is upon us. So, the end game has been prophesized. You can't talk to the goal, but you can talk to the scientist. That light fell in the direction of South America. Maybe a missile, perhaps a meteor. Either way, it must be the end. Does this guy say anything else? No, it doesn't. Well, there's only one thing left to do now. And that is to leave Air's Rock.
down here. We leave Ayers Rock. And we can go to South America. There is only one thing that we can do now. Also, if you need to expand cities, in case you haven't done everything that I've done up to this point, go ahead and do so now. Because there is a no turning back point in South America. And I don't know why I'm going in a circle other than to explain things. And once you meet that no turning back point and you make the proper decisions to trigger it, you're not going to be coming back to the surface world. Spoiler alert, we're actually going to leave this place. And I am sailing for a lot longer than I should be. Uh, only the Panama Canal was part of this game. Oh well. But for now, we want to make our way over to South America here. We do want to hit the port in Liado. And we went, want, need to go where we need to go. And thankfully, we don't have to go over there to that port. We can just go over there. And I believe if you go into this cave, you'll go back to where it all began. This time, there is a hole over here. There's Columbus. We haven't seen him since... Sylvain Castle. And of course, you definitely want to save here because this is the last chance you're going to have to save. It's been a long time, Art. I never forgot for a second how you saved me at Sylvain Castle. I traveled around the globe since then, and I saw as much as I could. The world has truly changed. Airplanes, computers, my navigation techniques appear primitive now. I heard of you while on my travels. I became convinced that you are the legendary hero. It is prophesied that the hero will disappear underground. Are you going? Not yet. When I go on explorations, even I get cautious. It's essential for survival. And we will be going down into that hole in the next video. Join me next time where we go back in the underworld to Krista and take care of some unfinished business because we need to confront the Elder for what he's done. Because as you remember, he's part of this. He wanted Baruga to do what he wanted to do. That's failed. And now he's serving Dark Gaia, who is a real mastermind behind all this. So we better take care of him. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!